Hi guys, welcome back. Yes, you can see clearly Jade is sitting down, ready to talk to you guys and give you guys a little bit of a life update as to where I've been, what's going on, and you know what, how I've been doing with my goals because we have now entered the second quarter of the year. And I can't be the only person in saying that I don't think I've really kept in line with what I plan to. We all write our goals down and you guys know how I am when it comes to that time. I'm like, right, list of everything with dates and everything like that. But have I even kept to that? So I thought it was time that I really just caught up with you guys and gave you a little bit of a life update because let's be real, I have been everywhere but YouTube. And I don't say that proudly, it's just that life right now has kind of got the better of me. I've been so focused on my day-to-day -day tasks, like running my business and going to work and doing my job effectively and then coming home and looking after myself and all of that stuff. I just haven't felt like I have anything to share with you guys, even though loads is going on. I posted something on Instagram like a few days ago and I said, so it was this picture that I posted, right, on my Instagram and you can go, I'll leave the link down below. And I said, with so many things going on in my day-to-day -day life, um, I barely have time to be creative and I miss that. What do you guys want to see on my YouTube channel? Question mark. I would really love your recommendations. I really want to continue inspiring all 28K of you. I've been so choppy and inconsistent that I haven't even been able to celebrate 28K with you guys. I celebrate every single one of you guys, which if you follow me on my socials, you know that. But in terms of actually talking about it on my channel, I haven't. I think, I don't know when the last time I even talked about my subscriber count was with you guys. It must have maybe been maybe about 20K or something, which is not good, even though yes, that eight has gone really quickly. I mean, I haven't really, you know, kept in the loop with you guys and I can only imagine how you guys might be feeling about me or about my channel right now. But I'm not here, you know, to be up and down and being consistent. I generally take YouTube very seriously and I'm at a place where I don't wanna post anything unless it's like, you know, spot on. You see so many different content creators that are doing amazing things and have so much great things to share. Like, I don't wanna put out average stuff. With the way YouTube is going right now, it is becoming so curated and so sharp, um, people's content. And I just feel like if I want to be amongst those names, I can only put out good, good stuff. So that is why you haven't just been getting loads of random videos. Having said that though, I am also in a place where I just feel like, when I feel like filming, I'm just gonna film and put it out there. So today, for example, I'm actually planning to film a Miss Pat haul, which I can't wait to show you guys a try on haul, which I'm gonna do after this. One of my biggest goals, <laughs> I'm talking so much, but it's like everything's coming out right now. One of my biggest goals for this year was to get to 100K subscribers. Now, I do feel really far off from that because I haven't really started the first quarter as you know strongly as I planned to. My goal was to post a video every week, at least one. Like there are people that post two, three, four times a week. I can't do that because I'm not a full timer, but I wanted to be in a position where I could at least post one a week. We're now in the month of April, and so today is Sunday the 8th, I think, and I'm going to try, I'm gonna post this video today, and from here on, I'm going to try and post at least one video a week. I'm really enjoying the vlogs, and I can see that you guys are enjoying my vlogs as well. Definitely wanna inject some more style and stuff like that in here. When I am going to travel, eventually, I will definitely be doing travel vlogs because it's been like a year and travel vlogs are definitely my favourite thing to film. Going back to like Algarve and Portugal, which was the best travel vlog ever. That was like my highest viewed video until um, my property videos came along. Anyway, what I was saying about this Instagram post when I was kind of saying like, I need you guys help. I need you guys to tell me what you want me to, to do. And yes, I still do. I still want you guys to leave comments down below and help me out because I am less creative at the moment just because I haven't ever got much time to think and plan and be imaginative because things are so on the go. And really an hour right now feels I could be doing so many other things, but I want to film. So where you guys can help me out, I really appreciate it. So some of the recommendations that I got was, like you said, there are so many things going on in your day to day. Can we please see a video on what you do when you find time for yourself? 
Cheers. Okay, so yeah, I think I can do that. I can do a video on like what I do when I finally get an hour for myself. Um, and then other people have said, you know, what's in your bag, how you plan your agenda, what's your daily routine. And then other people ask me about my outfit and that table. <laughs> so cool. Okay. So it's good to know that you guys do actually still want to see these kinds of videos from me, like planning and like prepping and what I get up to. Cool. In terms of planning, guys, I'm not on top of my planning like I usually am, but I felt like today's a good day as we're like, okay, first week into April already is gone, but we're still at the beginning-ish of April and we're in the second quarter of the year and a friend of mine, we were both talking about how we haven't even smashed much of our goals that we planned to you know, in the previous couple of months. She was just like, maybe you should discuss this on your YouTube channel. And I was like, oh my gosh, you are so right. I can't, we can't be the only people that are feeling this way going through this, right? Surely some of you guys are feeling like, what am I doing? How can I get back on track? So I have loads of things on the floor in my living room right now, just to kind of go through with you and have a little chat and hopefully it can help someone or prompt somebody just to, you know, get back on track or think about altering their goals as well. Okay, so I'm not gonna go into my actual goals too much because they are personal to me and I'm a believer in not really sharing what I'm aiming for until it's done. I have goals on every single area of my life. So fitness and health, for example, I wanted to start going to the gym again. I haven't, but that's due to different reasons. But I know that I will. I have been working out at home. So that's my way of, you know, countering that and trying to stay on track health-wise. I am actually pescatarian during the week and and I have been doing it still. Um, I probably had maybe one or two weeks where I've had um, meat in the week once. The first quarter I've done it, I've been smashing my targets and I don't miss it, I don't urge or crave for it during the week. And even during the weekend, I'm still not urging and craving for it. I think I only ever really have like Nando's. And when I order my pizza, cause you guys know I love pizza. I'm ordering veggie pizzas, <laughs> so yeah, it's going really well. I have my business, which is Van Real Co, and of course I'm aiming for that to be great. Like guys, I planned to have my Van Real Co website launched in January. Where is it? It's not here. It's not here yet, it's almost done, and I know every week I'm saying on my Instagrams and stuff, just bear with me because I am building it myself. I'm filming videos. I'm actually making the orders and taking the orders. I'm promoting it and doing the marketing, you know, through my Instagram and everything. I also have my own brand to work on. I also have emails coming in every day. And I also have a full-time job I'm going to every day. And I have a boyfriend and I have a family and I'm working on my driving. So that's just the reality of it. And I just don't want you guys to beat yourselves up. Like when, you know, you're not necessarily getting stuff done when you have written it down because I used to be that way. This year though, I feel like I'm a lot more relaxed than I have ever been in terms of my goals. Um, just because I feel like you're working really hard, Jed, and you're doing your best. I think when you know that you're doing your best, you really can't beat yourself up about it because you physically can't do any more. I would love to be able to, but I can't. Unless I get an assistant and some manufacturers and a web designer and, you know, someone that can edit my videos for me, then that might free up a lot more time. I feel like once the website comes, all of the other goals attached to my brand will begin to happen. With that, I can then focus on injecting new products to my lines and all of that can happen because that is the goal that I have on my 2018 list. And I do one of these every year. Um, I had an identical one that I did for last year, the year before, and I ticked off about seven out of 10 of them. And um, two of them, they were like about to happen as this year started. So it's always nice to do, see sometimes where your head's at. Um, and when you look back next year at this, it's like, oh my God, I did that. Or how much things change and how much your goals change, which is what I was mentioning before. Another one for me was that I wanted to start investing in my personal style a bit more. And rather than spending frivolously on short term, you know, trendy, um things that i'm just not really going to need in a year or so or want in a few months i have decided that i want to start 
buying investment pieces. Now I haven't necessarily bought a Chanel bag yet or a Gucci bag or Louis Vuitton for on bag just yet. But I've started to look in my wardrobe and say, okay, what are the things that I reach for the most that I don't necessarily have or if I just had one really good one I could get rid of all of these ones that I don't really need anymore that are you know cluttering up my place so with that in mind I have purchased a few accessories that are quite expensive not crazy expensive when I did my previous haul I mentioned my Gucci belt to you guys and some of you guys in the comments were like you were confused because of my video that I posted I don't know if it was last year or the year before about why I don't buy designer things if you watched that video properly you would have understood a bit more of what I was trying to say in that video which is timing and um, not rushing and delayed gratification at that time when I was talking about the story I had just moved into my flat and my flat was an empty shell and I took it upon myself because it was my birthday week to purchase something and it all went completely wrong and what my point was is that when it's your time it's your time and that was not my time because of priorities now buying this stuff is my time because I can afford to because my flat is done and because I am still saving at the same time of doing that and I don't have that guilt feeling of oh my god now what am I going to eat <laughs> kind of thing or I press pay and then I'm like oh my god I might just take it back like not once have me buying you know my Louis Vuitton pouch or my Gucci belt made me feel like oh I might just return it I'm like no now you can go right on my shelf where you belong so that was the essence of that video and talking about when I do finally get to that point where I can you guys will know about it I think I said something like that and so you guys know about it I'm in a different place now I'm not rich but I'm in a place where I'm like okay I can focus a bit more on myself now because I think for the past two years I've been saying to you guys like it's not about me it's about my flat it's about keeping my roof over my head making sure I have food making sure my bills are paid making sure my house is furnished and comfortable that if I ever have guests around it's like I can welcome them and look after them so now I feel like I've pretty much accomplished that it's not complete my bathroom's not done yet but that's another story it's gonna come it's all balance it's all priorities and it's all assessing where you're at and what you can afford so that's why I'm not able to do that stuff so if you guys get it then you get it if you don't I'm sorry but timing and change happens I was always aiming to afford it when the time was right for me those are some of the goals I penned down last year for this year and this is the vision board that I created at the beginning of this year with my best friend we had a vision board party and it was so fun it is very personal but I'll give you a glimpse there's some food there's travel practical driving test certificate there's like books and um, property stuff and fashion stuff and a new car and then there's like a warehouse with boxes which is what I want for Van Riel Co I want to have a warehouse and an office maybe this year and there are some cushions that are very Van Rielco-esque up there for inspo so that's how I just kind of keep myself prompted it reminds you and then it's about what you do after that when you realize you're off track what are you going to do about it guys I tell some of the closest people to me what I have planned for that year or that month just so that they can keep me on track and that works my mum my boyfriend my dad in particular are three people and my best friend are four people that tend to know a lot of the stuff that I have planned. Not everything, I don't share everything. Some things kind of embarrassing, like kind of, you know, you're living in la-la land, so I just won't share that. But my mum, she knows me like a glove. I don't have to tell her too much. She just knows where I'm heading. And so they prompt me in their own ways here and there if they see you slipping or they see you not believing in yourself because I have those moments, guys, where I just second guess and I think, mm. Yes, it was my goal. At the time, I felt like, yeah, I could do it. But now I'm like, hmm. And it's just about reminding yourself of how you were thinking. And for me, a vision board does that. It reminds me of the day that I did it and I felt so confident that, yes, I can do this. So what's changed now? It's like, okay, what's going to happen if you don't do it in July, but you do it in August? Or in December the fact of the matter is it's still going to get done this is so relevant for me right now with something in my life but I'm speaking to myself in hopes that this will speak to you guys and it's not a bad thing but so many surprises and random things pop up during the year that you had no intention of dealing with or spending on or doing you know and but that's life and life is not predictable it's very unpredictable but it's just about how you handle that situation and whether you want to bounce back or whether you just want to 
and let it all go to pot and waste the months and days away. I don't really know where this video is going guys, but I'm just gonna wrap it up here. Um, I hope that something from this video can be taken and applied. I think this is just a talk for myself to remind myself your goals are still valid, you're gonna get there and just believe in yourself. That's really it. I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye.